In this tutorial, we'll see two other methods for handling clips with different input and output size. We will be using the edit page for this, and we will start with some 8K footage. You can work in proxy mode for quicker refresh rates with 8K footage. To do that, you just go to the playback menu, proxy, and choose quarter resolution. We can start by making a new timeline and use custom settings. We go to Format and choose Custom and type in the resolution of our input footage. In my case, it's 8688 by 5792. Now where it says Mismatched Resolution Files, we can choose Center Crop with no resizing so it doesn't auto-size it. Then we go to our output and also where it says Mismatched Resolution Files, we choose Center Crop with no resizing. Again, so there's no auto-scaling on output either. Then select Create. Now we make sure we are in the Edit menu and right mouse click on the New Timeline and choose Timelines, Timeline Settings. And here you can verify that the settings are correct. Next we can drop the 8K footage on our timeline and go to the Metadata tab and check the resolution here. We can go to the Effects Library and add an effect. Open Effects, and in this case, we're going to add Relens Superfish to the clip. We can change the method to Equisolid, and then make sure display is on result, make the viewer 100%, and go to the Deliver page. We can set the output resolution to 1920 by 1080 and add to Render Cube. There is another way we can do this as well. We can go back and create a new timeline that's 1920 by 1080 and make the mismatched resolution to center crop with no resizing and then change output mismatched resolution to center crop with no resizing as well and create. Now we can drag timeline 1 to timeline 2. So that was taking the 8K timeline and dragging it to the 1920 by 1080 timeline and then we go to the Deliver page. Here in the Deliver page, we can export the new video with the output resolution we set to Full HD, and we're good to go. So, now you have seen a few ways to work with a different input and output size with our plugins in DaVinci Resolve.